Hi all, and welcome back to Nick Morrell at Nick Morrell Abstracts. And tonight I'm going to show you a simple 24 by 18 canvas, Newton and Windsor canvas again, um, all taped up underneath. Um, today I'm going to show you, um, a lot of people have just been asking again, the marble effect. I'm going to put a little simple marble effect in this one. Um, and we're going to try and create a primary, way, a primary color wave. Obviously that's been done simply, but really effective by you just using the blue, the red and the yellow mixed together. Um, these are the primary colors with a bit of white and the wave, it's amazing with cells, how many colors will come into the wave. Um, it's a really effective one that I've done quite a lot this one, um, but it's a primary wave. So we're gonna show you. So I'm gonna mix up just four cups. I'm gonna get, there's a two part um, wave this one or two part abstract. Basically I'll get the, the base, the marble effect in first and then we'll add the wave in afterwards and it'll all mix in with the whites and bleed and create some stunning effects. So my white is already mixed up and again um, products we're using today. The white is a 41 Pebo. We've got the 351 silver to mix in with the white to make the marble background. And obviously the blues we'll be using today is the Dela Rowney and it's the Ultra Ultramarine. Again, really electric blue this one. The Candyman Red. Again, this is the Windsor and Newton Red I tend to use. It's a good one. And the Windsor Newton Galleria again. This is the yellow colouring. Again, that's all. Just a simple, simple mix together this one. So we've got 500 ml caps, um, cups again. And again, we're just gonna get the base in. So, again, probably half of the 500 mils in this one. To get the base in. Again, probably gonna have to Mix up some more white in a minute. Some of the whites I've had mixed up from the last tutorial I showed you. And again, the consistency of a thick yogurt warm honey just add some of that on in there just trying to even this out a little bit okay and I'm just going to mix up some more to show you so again, the 41 high velocity. It's an excellent white to use. And again, the pouring mediums is the Liquitex, as we do in all the, I've shown you all the ones, the pouring medium we use. So it's an excellent pouring medium. Quite expensive, but Simply is the best. So just trying to mix this up quickly to show you. So 50-50 mix. So make sure you get it all mixed in. It can be a bit lumpy if you don't. So mix the two together and just add a couple of squirts of water. Five mils, I use five mils at a time. Okay, I'm really happy. There's 10 mils gone in this one with a 100 meter. 100 milliliter tube 
and 100 mils of liquid pour medium. As you can see, that's perfect. So 100 mil tube of PBO 41 was added. 10 mils of water, that was all. And 100 mils of Liquitex to create the perfect. And that's the measure, that's the mix you need. So simple, if you just follow the guidelines there, it was 100 mils, 100 mil tube, 100 mils of Liquitex pour medium, and it was 10 mils of water to create the perfect mix. So you just top these up a tiny bit. Obviously you need some kept back for the wave. Okay, now the silver I've mixed up. Again, I'm not adding any silicon oil into the silver. All the silicon oil is going to be in the wave. So I'm just going to try and create a subtle, subtle marbling effect. A tad more water in that one. And again, it's not quite a whole tube, this one. I'm just trying to get it to the consistency again. I've had no water in this one yet. So there's about five mils of water gone into half a tube. Not quite a full tube, this. Again, it's not a massive canvas. And that's fine. You can see that. Perfect. So again, no silicon oil. And again, just add from a height to try and drop all the way through the white. I'm just going to try and create a subtle marbling effect on this one. Obviously, we're going to have quite a bold colours coming through the middle. That's fine. I just find that a lot of people use just a white background um, with the wave I just like the marbling effect just creates more interest and it's interesting rather than just a white background with a wave a diagonal wave we're going to try and create and a two pour so always this way we set set the background first just give that a second so you set this first and then we'll add the wave in after just give it a couple of seconds just to settle so you've probably seen the background on a lot of the ones i've done same same formula and this is a 24 times 18 so quite a small canvas this one but i just wanted to show you the wave the primary color wave with the red blue and yellow the wave and it will all mix in to make so many different colors it's all you um, so all you really need really is blue, red and yellow to make any colour. And that's the primary wave. I'll just show you how simple, simple it can be. So I've normally done this one on a four foot by two with the wave and that was um, stunning. But say so this one's a lot smaller. But we'll try and get this all mixed around. So again, quite a lot of paint. And again, no oil in this at all, so you can just move around and walk the paint around to where you're happy. So you normally start one corner, get that in, and then walk it round to the other corner. So I normally work in a clockwise this is just whatever, whichever way you want to go around. Work 
into the bottom right hand corner. So a lot, quite a lot of paint run off. And then we're coming down into the left hand corner. So with marbling you want to take quite a lot of the paint off. And then run it down. Just trying to create a shadow with this. Not a heavy. Obviously just trying to create a lot of natural bit of stone. And just keep running it off until you're happy. You can see that guys? Again, just like a nice piece of marble we're trying to create. Natural stone look. So that's the amazing effects it creates for just a little bit of silver in the white. It's quite a nice marble effect. And again, certain areas will be quieter than others, as in marble. So we've got quite a nice bit of marbling going on there, as you can see. with marbling you do get some nice veins coming through some quieter areas this is quite a heavy area and now we're going to try and put a I mean ideally with the marbling I would probably let this settle and almost leave you could almost leave this for an hour but for demonstration purposes I'm going to try and do this all in one go colours mixed up now and I'm probably going to put sort of two cups and then just try and put the wave across so it has got oil in them the reds I've got the red the blue and the yellow also the primary colours so I'm probably going to do this on a two cup pour so one here, one here, and we're going to try and move it across. So these have got cells, and I might try and create some big cells in this one. So I may pour and torch a bit, just to try and get the cells expanded a bit before I pour. It gets it mixing quicker. So I don't often do that, but with the primary ones, I tend to do that. I just tend to pour first, and then before I move it, just torch a little bit, just trying to expand the cells a bit. And the colours tend to bleed a bit better. So again, try and show this over the painting. Just a bit of white to get the movement going. A bit of white in the bottom. Now the blue is quite a dominant colour. So I just try and pour this in different areas. So the blue down that side and again the blue I'm trying to pour this over the painting so I don't just blob it on the painting I'm just trying to let you see so we've got the blue and now the red again we'll go down the side I'll just try and bring this round so you guys can see what I'm doing I don't want to just go over the painting so the red down the side and here's the other cup so I'm doing two cups so the red down the side just try and pour them away from each other red down the side and now the yellow Again, all got oils in them. All the yellow, we're going to just try and pour that down one side. But from a quite a height. Again, 
bit of the yellow down the side from a nice height. So you can see that, it's starting to blend and mix already. Now we tidy up, and that's your primary colours. All blended. Now we're going to just try and create effect coming through the middle. So this one, we're just going to go there and there. We'll just let that settle. And we're just going to try and run it a diagonal streak through. And so I may, um, once I lift these cups up, I'm going to just going to try and just torch a little bit. Just try and expand the effect. amazing what colours you get here just with a simple again I'm just going to torch I'll get some of the bigger cells coming and that'll do you just for a little bit we're going to torch again in a minute and as you can see all the colours are coming through. Now we're just going to try and walk this. I'll just try and hold it diagonal there so you can see. Again, quite a lot of runoff here. That way. And then we'll turn it the other way. So I hope you can see this. I'm just trying to be moving the painting around as much as I can, just let you see. And again. So the colours you get, the effects by just having the three primary colours is amazing really. And again, just run some of that off. That's fine. And now we'll come back. Let's try and move it the other way. And what I like about this method, with the two cut method, you get a slight break in the middle with the white. And that just makes it more interesting. I don't know if you can see that, and we'll try and bring that more central. And again, as you can see, the effects are just, I just love a primary wave. The colours it creates are amazing. So again, it's got some silver veins through here. Again, I think you can see that. I'm just going to move that just a slight bit down through. And the blues. So again, that's the effects. And I kind of like that. That's why I did the two pour, because you get a sort of break. So it's almost like two parts. And this is going to all sell up. We're now going to torch that in a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure all my edges are covered. That's pretty good. Silver. So you get plenty of runoff here, so you should be fine just to touch your corners up. So say, all you need really is your red, your blues, your yellows, which are your primary colours. And you can create so many. You've got oranges in there, you've got blues in there, you've got greens going in there now. Pinks, reds, blues, everything. It's all mixing together to make a nice, a real stunning effect, this one. So just go around cleaning up. And so I just stretched the cells out. When I torched before we pour and we moved it, the wave, uh, it just stretches the cells out. As you can see here, they're stretching out bigger. Just make sure the corners are all done here. Again, this is all taped up underneath, so it should be fine. So 
there just creates a nice effect. And I think there's some marbling. Obviously, we've lost quite a lot of the marbling in through the wave, but the interesting marbling here just creates a more interesting, when it's glossed up, an interesting piece. I'm just going to torch through. So you could probably leave without torching this and it would be fine. Um, but we'll try and get some bigger cells through some of these areas. Always make sure your cap is on. I had that fall off in one painting once. Very disappointing. And again, this is all going to bleed into the, the white. primary wave. Very simple to do, but create some stunning, stunning effects. So I don't know if you can see that okay, you can see that. So we've done it in a two-part pour, two cups of primary colour, and that way it just creates a interesting break, and the white comes through, um, rather than one big stripe. I just like to do that, but as you can see it's setting up Got some really big cells here with the blues. Uh, it's quite a nice area here. Got some greens where the yellow's mixed. The reds, uh, it's gone pink. We've got some purple coming in. And again, this is just gonna get more interesting as it dries. So I hope you like that effect. So everyone asked me about the primary wave. So this is my primary wave. And see how simple it is but to create all these colors so you just don't over complicate things if you want lots of colors all you need to do is red blue and yellow and that's in a bit of white and you can create your whole palette of colors just by using that simple simple method i'll just try and bring that down a bit and show you That's the primary wave. I don't know if you can see that. I'll come over to the top of it. And so you can see the colours. Endless colours. Very interesting. And so that's my primary wave. Again, this can get more interesting as it dries. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and look forward to joining you in the next one. Okay guys, I'll catch you later.